<laughs> okay, that's as far as I'll go with that one. I came across a scripture the other day that uh, reminded, we're not, reminded me we're not alone as we walk through, through life. In Hebrews chapter 12, uh, the, the writer of Hebrews reminds us that we're surrounded with a cloud of witnesses. And there's different interpretations on what that means. But um, it's very possible that what he's talking about are the people in chapter 11, all those great men of faith that went before us, that endured great things. It's possible that he's talking about people like what's around us today, these witnesses that watch us. And it's possible that there are other witnesses that are watching us. And uh, we can hope. God knows what he's doing there. We'll just trust God. But I, I want to thank Christiana and Clay. I want to thank you for honoring Mama in so many ways today. Uh, thank you for that. Um, we're not here with a big crowd today, but it's a pretty important crowd. These are the people that are closest to us, closest to you, that have played a huge place in your life and been through the thick and the thin of life. Uh, but most especially, we're gathered here with God, in the sight of God, as families. I almost said two families, but then I realized there's a whole lot of families here, and we're about to make a new one. And this is really exciting. Oops. As we join Keith, Clayton, right, and <laughs> Christiana, Julie, Wayne together in holy matrimony. This is something that the Apostle Paul encouraged, but he also, we know that he and others in Scripture have, have pointed out to us this is something to just be this, this is not something to be entered unadvisedly or lightly but reverently discreetly 
and in the fear of God. Christiana and Clay have taken the time to pursue God, and we've watched that. They've taken the time to learn about each other. There's a whole lot more to learn, too. But they've also taken the time to develop relationships with other people. And all three of those things are very important if their relationship is to grow and thrive. And those of us that are here, it's a challenge to us to help to continue to encourage you to in both of, uh, on all three of those ways. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul likens this marriage relationship that we're talking about today to the relationship that Christ has with the church. And it's a beautiful picture that, that marriage should show to the people around us what that relationship is with Christ. Clay? Christ gave his all for his bride. He stooped down and walked on earth so he could understand her. He bled, he died, and he rose again to save her from her sins. And even now, he works tirelessly to prepare a place for her. Use him as a pattern for your leadership as a husband. Christiana, the church is Christ's bride. She is to trust him unreservedly for every need, devote herself to service to him, and lift him up in praise. Use the church as your pattern as your, in your relationship as a wife. The Bible teaches us that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. It's a covenant relationship patterned after God's covenant relationship with his people. Not without struggles, but well worth it. Our Lord declared that a man shall leave his father. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> and his mother, sorry. His father and his mother. <laughs> and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. In this union, God is providing an opportunity for the two of you to experience the greatest expression of his love as two human beings. Clay, will you take Christiana to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust and serve her in sickness and in health in adversity and prosperity and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live i do christiana will you take clay to be your husband will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in god's kingdom will you promise to love honor trust serve and obey him in sickness and in health in adversity and prosperity and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live mm -hmm. and at this point the preacher normally asks who gives this bride to be married and apparently that's me <laughs> <laughs> you can join hands That is my privilege. As believers, we hold to the belief that God views marriage as a covenant, as I said. We accept this view as our own. It's not just God's impression, it's ours. It implies a freely chosen, lifelong, exclusive relationship between the husband and his wife. This marriage is a covenant based on unconditional love, not a contract to be broken. It's it's to be a marriage of total commitment, complete faithfulness, and permanence. Established and blessed by God, it's to be honored by all people. And it's a really good thing. Clay and Christiana, today you must leave your parents and cleave to the spouse that God has given you. With your spouse, you'll experience the strongest of all human bonds, the covenant of marriage. I'd like to pray for you right now. 
Lord, we, all of us here, are just so excited to see what you have done in the life of Clay, in the life of Christiana, from when they were babies on up to today. Uh, a young man and a young woman who want to spread their wings and go out and do great things for you. We thank you for their desire to serve you and pursue you. We thank you for the fact that you brought them together to do that as a couple. We pray your blessing on their lives together from this day forth for the rest of their lives, that they would honor and serve you with every effort, with every fiber of their being. And every effort would be uh, rewarded greatly with great fruit, maybe not here on earth, but in heaven. And we thank you again in Jesus' name. Clay and Christiana, as I mentioned the other day, remember that, that wasn't a talk, I don't know. As I mentioned the other day, these vows are the second most important thing that you'll ever do in your life. And of course, the first was when you became a Christian. These vows are permanent, powerful, and precious. You like the alliteration? Yeah. <laughs> In the sight of God, who sees all, and the sight of your families, who are with you today. Clay and Christiana, seeing the joy that's evident by your love for one another, and believing that God will give you fulfillment in a lifetime together. Will you join hands? You already did. I got that out of order. After me. I clay. I clay. Take you, Christiana. Take you, Christiana. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance, and to this I pledge myself to you. And to this I pledge myself to you. I, Christiana, take you, Clay, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, to this I pledge myself to you. The wedding ring is a perfect representation of the spiritual commitment made today. The band is a, a, a circle, of, an infinite circle symbolizing perpetual love. The gold represents the richness and purity that God desires in your relationship. As a token of your vows, you will now give and receive the ring. Clay, take this ring, place it on Christiana's finger, and as you do, repeat to her after me these words. Christiana, Christiana, this ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. With this ring, I pledge my constant love. With this ring, I pledge my constant love and con and lasting devotion and to lasting you. And lasting devotion to you. Christiana, take this ring and place it on Clay's finger. Repeat these words. Clay, this ring is a token of my love for you. With this ring, I pledge my constant love and lasting devotion to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And now for these formal big words. For as much, you like that one? 
<laughs> as Clay and Christiana have consented together in holy wedlock and witnessed the same before God and their families and have given and pledged their love each to the other and have declared the same by give, the giving and receiving of rings and by joining hands I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Clay, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And may I now you present to you <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Clay King. Drive the Polaris. <laughs> What's that? About two dollars. Two dollars? Yeah, I bet Josh is slip on the way down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.